What's up, friends? Welcome back to a high level stream. What are the plans for today? You might be wondering. Um, well, we're going to be playing some StarCraft 2, starting off with some Terran. We're also going to be watching a couple of uh, VODs. Or, well, VODs. I actually have some replays that I want to have a, have a peek at. So to say. The GSL replays from yesterday. So if you don't want to get spoiled for GSL, then uh, that would be the time for you to tune out. We'll be doing that later today, though. We're starting with some uh, some Terran, some Protoss, some GSL in between, maybe. Whenever I get tilted, we'll just turn on a, a GSL replay that will fix it. At least that's the plan here for now. Hello, hello. Nice in time for my lunch nap. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what I want to hear. As a self-respecting streamer, I love to hear that I'm uh, good enough for your nap. Because that is the, the time where a person wants to rest the most, you know? Person wants to rest the most during their nap. And if in that peaceful period you want to have me on, then I appreciate it. I'm going to just button my shirt one more. Showing a bit too much skin otherwise. Wouldn't want to do that. All right. Let's start with some Terran. Hey, what's up, duties? How are we all doing? Because I am feeling pretty good. Oh, I can start Q&As. And let my viewers weigh in. I can start a poll. That's sick. Uh, ask a question. Are you doing well this morning? Ask my community. Yes. Can I vote as well or no? <laughs> I have I have build orders by the way, my friends. Holy God, Christian is a place like a massive prick. Insta pause as well. Super positive vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Always positive vibes. Look at this. The instant pause, he said, closing my stream. So he was listening to me on the background, you know. Christiana also was planning on taking his afternoon nap here. It's like during this game. That's why he picked Zerk as well. Ooh. Oh, I actually like this poll feature. That's cool. We'll end the poll. 79% of the people said yes. 80% of people, 25 uh, votes. Very cool. Hey, what's up, Antilar? Good morning. Have you ever played someone while they were streaming? Yeah, many times. What? I play people while they're streaming all the time. Because I ladder a lot during my day, and y y you're bound to hit streamers at this level, you know? All these uh, 5K players that stream. Good evening from Australia, my captain. Look at you. Evening in Australia already. That means that your day is soon to be over. But do not worry, I'll be here to entertain you till the early morning hours of your Australian time. How to have a good morning when it's night time? You stay up long enough, and you'll get there. Mm -hmm. Would make for a fun video. You mean if I would put their perspective in? Sounds like work to me. What if you can't help it, but you're definitely an idiot? The moment you're self-aware that you're an idiot, you already lost a little bit of your idiocy, you see? The worst thing that can happen as an idiot is not being aware of the fact that you're an idiot. The first step to becoming less of an idiot is acceptance. You ever heard of the, the three stages of idiot acceptance? That is a classic step one. Psychologists all over the world agree on that. 3.30 a.m. from Seattle. I went to Seattle once. You guys have a beach called Alki Beach, which is a pretty terrible beach. Uh, I took the boat over the... Is it a lake or is it like... I don't even know. A, or a river? I took a boat from... Uh, let me see. You guys have a decent pier as well, which actually was quite nice. I remember the pier being pretty. Pretty pier. Yeah, I went there for MSI in 2015, I want to say. Very good time. Did you watch GSL yet? The last map of the day is legit the best game I've ever seen. Mate, I've already casted that game and it's coming online on YouTube tonight. I'm so far ahead of you. I've watched I watched that game live and I was like, man, this is legitimately one of the sickest games ever. It was so good. Um, as GSL right now is releasing their replay packs, they're, uh, they've set up a Patreon campaign or a Patreon page, however you, call it, you want to call it. And in there, they are uh, 
every bit of money that goes in there will be used to support the prize pool for the Korean StarCraft players. And uh, part of the perks, if you give $30 or more, is that you get a, well, uh, a replay pack with all the recent replays. Really cool. Extremely fast servers as well. Like we got it basically instantly. Have you watched the chess championship? No, I, I haven't. I, I just haven't. I hate that I haven't played chess, you know, in like the past two years. It's one of these things that I think, you know, I, I liked it when I was doing it, um, but for some reason it's it's difficult for me to to kind of put time into it. And also, the problem I really had with chess is that a lot of the games to me weren't so fun, like the ones I would play myself. I like watching videos about it and stuff. I still occasionally watch a chess video, um, like uh, Hikaru or uh, what do you call it, Le Le Levy, uh, the Quantum Chess. Like I, I, I like those guys, but um, I find it so difficult to play myself at times. You know, what is this clown doing? Why is this queen? Oh, this is the, the 14. This is the Eric build. Everyone and their sister is playing it. Like, legitimately. I'm very curious if this build is any good. This third is a lot faster, though, than it should be. So this one apparently allows you to skip links. Which is kind of wild in my mind. Because you can get a really quick queen with it. You have a fast pool as well. It's actually kind of cool. I think it makes some sense. But yeah. Straight start with this one. Then we'll go into Banshee from here. And the first thing is an inject, I think, not a, a creep. Love the shirt, mate. Ah, thanks, guys. Yeah, it's one of my favorite shirts. I wore it a lot when I was on my honeymoon. It's just a fantastic shirt. It's like, it's not ugly, you know? It's like, it, it gives up positive vibes in my mind as well. Um, and it's super comfortable, which is, you know, a big bonus in shirts. Very often, I, I saw these guys in, in freaking Thailand with the insane weather that they have there. They're walking around the freaking button-ups, you know? It's like, no shot I'm gonna be wearing a button-up if it's 45 degrees Celsius. Like that is that is very close to the definition of insanity, to me at least. You know, for these people, they thought it was nice, uh, nice summer weather. Maybe they're from Australia where it's always warm. Australia. I've never been to Australia. I once almost qualified for a tournament in Australia, but I lost the final map to Namshar. I lost 3-2 and I ended up not going. I'm actually pretty sad about that. I never, it's, it's literally the, well, it's not the one continent. I, I haven't been to like three continents, I guess. Oh, this is, this is not going too well as a start here. Oh, this guy's also just flying through. He's having a blast. Didn't lose my Reaper, but that's not actually the worst thing that can happen to you. Like, Reapers are are replaceable. Except you don't want to replace them, you know? I think one of these things, don't really care about it that much, in my mind. Hello, boys. Okay, we're just going to send these out right now. That guy's dead, no? <laughs> As I was looking at that, I'm thinking to myself, that one seems a little bit vulnerable right now. Now, I could be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Yeah, he just straight up dies. <laughs> it's hilarious to me for some reason. <laughs> I love that he picked that one to say, but okay, oh, this, is, this is the correct dude to, for this task. I'm a little bit slow still this morning. It's, uh, it's not my first game. I've already played a couple of games before this. I do like to warm up before I stream, but... It's definitely still 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 early in the day and i can feel it as well a little bit okay so please please be kind to me when uh when criticizing my play you know it's difficult to play it's, it's hard enough to play without constantly being criticized as well um, you're gonna go here you're gonna go here and you two are gonna just set up Yeah, it's a, it's a difficult game StarCraft 2 is. Very tricky game. 
See if we can actually deal some extra damage. I'm dealing quite some damage, I think. Oh, nice little supply block as well. Love to see it. Oh, look! Tank is stuck as well. Oh, that's just, that's just, that's just bloody brewing in it, lads. Never quite sure how to micro these situations, but this felt somewhat okay, honestly. I feel like there's Muras on the way. I mean, I've seen six gases, I think. So, I don't know. It, it feels like this is uh, this is Mura territory now. I'm, I'm just going to keep my cars at home for a little bit longer. Um, and the reason for that is because I believe he might be going for a run by. And I want to wait. Well. Nice one. Oh no, jeez, good lord. I lost one of them there. I wanna wait till I have one one as well. <laughs> Complete destruction, right? How you're just owning at this point. Wait, this is not very close at all. Uh, gonna turn these into halbats as well. Wish I had more tanks. I guess it would have been nice if one tank wouldn't be completely stuck in there. But I guess that's life as well at the same time. I'm actually just gonna lift this one up, I think, at some point. This is this is becoming a little bit pathetic now. Yeah. Hey, still here, yeah. This this is what kind of what destruction looks like, right? I just outplay him from start to finish. Oh, perhaps I should have paid attention a little bit more. <laughs> Just slightly more attention there would have, would have probably not hurt because that was a, a bad idea. I thought he had no more banes remaining, so I just stopped looking. Oh my god, this is driving me nuts. You can piss off right now, mate. Congratulations, you've done it. You've ruined me. That was a very embarrassing little moment. I'll let you all know. Let you in on the secret that that indeed was quite embarrassing. And I don't actually have anything. I'm just gonna go here again, am I not? Yes, zero, zero? Oh. I'm not the one that should be embarrassed here, I think. He almost died to my first push. Well, well not having any upgrades. Look at this. Freaking tanks. Huh? <laughs> I did target fire harms them. Kevin the Koning. Well, I'm not actually killing him yet. Maybe I do still need to be somewhat careful. But at the same time, I don't really think I have to be. Like, all I need to do right now is not completely wet the bed. Thank you for the 10 Polish Zloty, my friend. Very kind of you. Very kind of you, indeed. Uh, we're just going to continue getting more of these guys. Yeah, nice one. There's just units there, so I can't actually do anything about that. They're gonna sit in here. Oh, that doesn't work against me. I'm actually quite fast. Is he gonna try to kill this or what? Who wants 
Once asleep in the city and never wakes up Blinded by nostalgia GG yeah, This is a, such a clean win honestly from start to finish Destroyed him in the macro here Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer and maybe for my opponent For me overconfidence is a fast and insidious killer as I took him out at high speed Hey Harstam, have you ever done a one hand challenge where you don't use the keyboard and only use your mouse? Do you think you could reach 5k plus with that? Yeah, for sure. I think I could. What is your opinion on current events? I don't know. I don't have an opinion on what current events. Let me check the current events. Text some watch cut catbird sis for the 65 Swedish kroner. Um I I don't know. I I'm, I'm reading the Dutch uh the Dutch media right now says that there was a bullet rain in a street in Rotterdam where an explosion was the day before. I think that is bad. Interesting. Also, gambling companies earned 1.1 billion in a year, a year after legalization of the gambling companies, and they've doubled the amount of accounts. <laughs> nice. I think that is also bad. I think people, you know, being addicted to gambling is a bad thing. These were my thoughts on the current events. Hi, Arsen from Tokyo. How about you try to get Grandmaster Top 50 without with a touchscreen laptop? I don't think it's possible. No, I, I also, I don't think I'd have a great time doing that. Like, uh, yeah. I like doing challenges which are fun for me as well, not challenges that are that, that, that will be frustrating. I think this would be very frustrating. Thank you so much for the 3000 yen, I think it is. Yeah, the Japanese, Japanese, Japanese yen. Much appreciated. I can barely get top 50 with mouse and keyword. I'll leave me alone. You wouldn't even be capable of getting top 50 with mouse, keyboard, a map hacker and full time coaching from Maru. So. You're not allowed to speak here, Jorix. When are you doing the spine run by? Next week. How about top 100 with a phone screen? How about I try to ban you using only my left hand? How's that sound? Put user in timeout. Oh, I did it with my right. Well, that worked perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to unban you. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I, I think you'll come back soon. I actually don't know how to unban people on YouTube. Maybe slash unban? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <clears throat> Alright. What's next? Cheeky little Prots play here. That's what's next. I have a I, I have I have new builds for every matchup by the way. Like today is going to be an only win stream. It is it is it is very possible that we end this day like 15-0 on the ladder, 6.3k MMR with our Terran. Like I have a bunch of builds here that is straight from the source of StarCraft 2, the mecha of esports. Got a couple of Beyond builds, some nice GSL replays. Oh, Life is so good being me. Just a quick question. What time were you thinking of watching GSL replay? Sorry if you answered that early in the stream. So, the plan... Oh, this guy's a prick. Hey, piss off. Um, the plan here was... Um, oh, I'm not really mining. Oh, that's really bad with the build order that I was doing. Uh, okay, let me try to answer that question again. Now that uh, things have calmed down a little bit. The plan initially was to watch the GSL replays when we start tilting. So if we lose like three, four games in a row, I'll be like, okay, that one absolutely garbage. Maybe it's time for us right now to watch some replays, you know, to calm down and have a good time. But after the first the first game, was it the first game I just played? Yeah. After the first game I just played, I feel so fast. I have a feeling I might never tilt today. It might be one of those rare days in which I just simply win every single game. I truly believe in it. How good is this guy, huh? What is he doing? Some uh, hidden professional or something. 
Not enough minerals. Did he, did he escape me? Okay, I might be the idiot here. I think this guy is good though. He seemed fast. It wouldn't surprise me if this guy is at least 5'8. I didn't actually see his MMR, but this has this has 5'8 vibes screaming all over. Didn't manage to get a block on my hatchery or on my uh, CC for very long, so that's good for me. Hop. Let's pull into gas a little bit quick. <sighs> We still haven't figured out Harstam's opinion on Pauli Chumpis. Who is that? <laughs> Actually, who? I've never heard of that guy, Pauli. Is he a good or a bad person? Because that massively influences my my position on him. If Pauli is a bad person, I don't like the fella. But if he's a, if he's a likable guy, I, I'm okay with him. For sure. Generally, I'm, I'm okay with, with likable people. Wait, is he in my main? Oh, he should have finished that, I think. Not enough minerals. So yeah, some controversial opinions here this morning, eh? Have you considered flying to Korea and playing in the GSL? No? Well, I had considered it last year. And I was considering it doing it this year, but it is so economically unviable, it's insane. It would be like a how to lose money speedrun. What? actually gonna finish this i think so right hilarious He did quite some damage. It's not sure if that was enough damage, you know. Did I just take double gas before my extra barracks? That's what we call a debatable play as well. Nice little supply block on top of that. This hasn't been world's hottest. Uh, It's definitely not been world's hottest play. Let's get a single eBay actually. Usually you get two eBays in these situations. What? Why would he do that? He's just running away now. He's, just, he's not gonna mine for the next five hours. Maybe he doesn't know that mining is actually an important part of StarCraft 2. Hey, this has really been a fairly mediocre play out of me. I'll, I'll admit this immediately, okay? I'm not gonna pretend like I've been playing the game of a lifetime, but I've been playing. I feel like I've been playing better than my opponent so far. Uh, versus Proto, sometimes it doesn't matter. Yesterday I played the game of a lifetime as well in the early game. This is, is a very frustrating game. Just thinking back of it still hurts me. Actively hurts me, may I say as well. 
and this guy. He attacked me with a two base charge Archon. And I basically lost the game. I was very frustrated. Like I need more depots. Like I should have had slightly more depots probably. All the yellow bricks. Hey, that's nice. Actually quite some units, huh? Oh, that's also interesting. Nice one. Love how he uh, how he managed that one. You go over here, Chief. Still have my Raven around as well. Is that an actual? Yeah. Oh, that looks bad for my opponent. I feel like there's a win, though. Blink, Storm. Blink also would have been sick though. He has Blink. Specifically, Storm would be really nice for him to have at this point. Doesn't he? I don't have Con Concussive yet. But I hear Storm right now. If I clear this, it means that my next push is going to straight up win the game. Like, uh, no questions asked. Because I have Ghost. And he has no counter to go. I think he figured this out as well. Why do they have so little workers? That seems to be a little bit bad, no? Come on. One more over here. Why, why do I have so little workers? Still have these these invisible dudes, no? The miners. Old yellow bricks. Na, na, na. Oh, here he comes. Here comes the sun. Oh, he's gonna try and. Uh... Only one. Only one storm allowed per Templar. GG. Okay, what was his MMR? Can we get some guesses in the chat? So his early game felt very good, but then I completely blasted him in the mid game, right? He knew how to execute a build order, but he didn't... Well, he knew how to do the build order, but the execution was uh, was fairly weak. And he got outplayed. He's 5-5. Five, 5-1, five. Five, five, seven, five, two. Interesting. I don't actually know what he is. I... It wouldn't surprise me if it's 5-1 here. This felt like maybe 5-1. Maybe higher. 5-1. Yeah, 5-1-69. Just uh, completely destroyed him. This wasn't a very close game at all. Isn't it fun? funny how that works? This is where the, the Cyclone Marine drop hits. You kill 3-4 workers. I think you're so far ahead, you basically can't lose anymore. It's really crazy in my opinion. About the same as you. Ho, 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 ho. Calm down. I'm 5-4-84. Look at this. I'm rank 112. A beautiful rank. I think I'd end myself if I was rank 113. Are you no longer fond of creatures of the sea? You don't say hello to us anymore? I always say it. 
in my Hearthstone cast videos. I never said it in my main channel. See? If you had six fingers, do you think you would hit rank one easily? I'm not sure how big of an advantage six fingers is. If it was on my right hand, I think it'd be more of a deterrent than anything. Not enough. Okay, do you guys want to see this? I have a build in TVT Not enough that I literally cannot lose with. Not enough I have lost with it before, but now that I know the exact execution, I simply am not losing again. Not enough minerals. Okay. Not enough minerals. This is a build that uh, Bian played against Maru yesterday. Which I got out of the GSL replay pack. Do I recommend getting the GSL replay pack for thirty dollars? You support the Korean Starcraft 2 scene. Maybe I do recommend that indeed. If thirty thirty dollars is a little bit steep for you, which I can understand, you know, thirty dollars a month. But with that type of money laying around, you can also do a lower amount, like two dollars. You know, support Korean Starcraft. Something you could do. You could also not do it and watch it for free. Also supporting the StarCraft indirectly. You could also send me an angry message on Instagram. Which I then will not read. That doesn't support anyone. But perhaps a good way to lose some anger. Actually, don't do that. I don't know, I got a bunch of angry uh, ranters in my Instagram direct messages. It does not sound like a fun time at all for me. How much do you get paid for this? How much do I get paid for what? Streaming StarCraft? Depends what YouTube pays me for the, the advertisements or donations. I don't get paid at all for uh, promoting the the Patreon from uh, from the GSO. I just think it might be a worthwhile cost. <laughs> Fight now. Oh, sorry, losing. Always uh, confuse us to winning and losing. It's so difficult as well. I will pay you, Mr. Harkstam. Have 10 down on the shackles. Thank you very much, buddy. Much appreciated indeed. No, it's two aliens. That's correct indeed. That is indeed correct, my lord. Oh, a little bit late here with my depot, I guess. That is quite frustrating. Oh, you massive prick. See, you know what this is? Not allowed. That's what this is. Oh, crap. Okay, now we can turn around. Nice. Don't forget, we have two more Reapers coming in. Add on complete. FCB ready. Now, if this build looks a little bit foreign to you, it's because you probably have never seen it before. You've never seen it before because this build only got introduced to the general public yesterday. FCB ready. I myself have been sitting on this build for four years now. Thank you. Let's support the Korean scene indirectly by paying Harston. <laughs> This, this is not what I said, but appreciate it nonetheless. Uh oh. Oh, accidentally messed up my uh, my camera hotkeys here. It's a very tight build order because while you're fighting certain things, it becomes really hard to, uh, to 
to, to macro during it and because it's such a tight build that can actually be kind of frustrating i do still have map control though which is really nice for me Come on, buddy. Look at this. Isn't this what StarCraft is all about? Sitting back, relaxing, having a good old time. Make sure I start my combat shield immediately, though, man, once this party is over. Third CC in position as well. Exactly how Beyond did it yesterday. It's a carbon copy. Some people might even say that I've done it better. They'll look at my build and they'll look at the one that Beyond did. And they're like, wow. Arsa, man, you're hitting like a freaking truck. It's definitely true, lads. Ooh, it's the incorrect call, I believe. very aggressive early game that still allows for, for fun in the mid sometimes you have these aggressive early games that then they don't have any oomph left anymore you know at the at the end of the initial aggression but this one just have constant aggression on your opponent so right now my goal here is, is fairly simple i want to continue pushing and this is kind of my distraction okay these, uh, these units here are really just my distraction. Okay, so he's he's slowly pushing forward. I'm okay with that, obviously. I mean, even if I wasn't okay with that, there's not a whole lot I can do with it. He's slowly but surely going to take care of, of this. I think I attacked the wrong thing there, or at least a little bit. This went worse than it went in my head. Probably should have waited for 1-1 one, one as well, huh? Just thinking back of that entire interaction. Because <laughs> 1-1 one, one was fairly close. Hmm. I wonder if we can just go in right now. Is he playing mech? Oh, he is playing Mac. I hadn't even realized that yet. Well, that definitely does change things, doesn't it? Um, first of all, it changes how I'm going to expand here. Also, it changes how I want to attack. Okay. Well, that was really poor. That was really poor. I thought we could do it. I was... Obviously... I realize now, mistaken. Um, far from ideal. No, wait, I do want to keep this. I'm just going to get another tank over here. Okay, we've, we've lost a decent amount of medevacs, a decent amount of tanks as well. And I think that's going to continue happening. The only thing I need to make sure of right now is that I don't straight up lose the game in the next few minutes. As long as I don't lose the game in the next few minutes, I still have a chance. That's the beauty of playing against mech. Mech is so kind of poor in a way that, that it can never really properly move out. So I'm just going to go into Mass Liberator from here on out as well. 
Oh, does he actually have this base, or is he just memeing for now? our medevac count we have five i think that's enough from now on we have a, a a focus a duty to the people to the american people to the people of the world here the focus on vikings so we're gonna do as well um a little refinery has this game been perfect out of me no of course not have I said that this game was perfect? No, of course not. You want to make? Something I really want in this scenario is actually quite simple. Oh, he doesn't see it. But he does see my fusion core, doesn't he? This one's here. I'm gonna build a tank. Well, build a tank. I'm gonna put a tank over there. We're gonna have more of these and add more starboard as well. Seems like a, an overall pretty decent plan. We have way too many workers in this location. That's going to straight up turn around. Piss off! And pissed off he did. Oh well. He's gonna try and continue fighting here, which is an interesting call, I guess. To some. But to me, it mainly looks very bad for me. Does he actually... Does he believe he has a, a superior... Definitely gonna win this fight. If he, if he decides to stay, that is, of course. Insufficient vesting gas. La la la. Because right now we have a decent amount of bases. We're just gonna continue expanding, obviously. See if we have any oversaturation anywhere. It doesn't quite seem to be the case yet. I thought we had more Metavex as well. Semi-frustrates me to not see them. And we'll go into Ravens as well from here on out. We want 3-3 three, three started. And Advanced Ballistic. So we're spending a lot of gas right now. Mind losing a couple of workers here, I think. So all of these are like free damages that I'm dealing to, to gas units. Oh, someone's uh, ringing my doorbell. We can run downstairs, no problem. It's a problem with doorbells. We feel like a bit of a prick for doing that thing with the mule there just now. No? Not sure if I should feel like a prick. Not sure how many marines I want, but no, no matter what the number is. Oh. He's feeling this one, doesn't he? Isn't he? This is bad. This is real bad for him. Oh, no, no. This could be potentially real bad for me, actually. 
Uh, we got another tank as well. Oh no. Did I lose this game? I think I might have, no? Freaking hate Thor's, that's for sure. Uh, losing this base might not be the end of the world. It's definitely uh, a bad start, though. Definitely is a bad start. You definitely have superior numbers of, uh, of upgrades as well, which is important. Gonna continue getting more ravens. This is now our fifth base. Congratulations, you've been upgraded. We want some more of these as well. So I built a bunch of. Uh, this actually kind of sucks. Oh, so I build a bunch of units that I don't necessarily need in a way. It's gonna be too late. I mean, this felt like a hold to me, no? I don't have any scans remaining. Which sucks! Okay, he's doing the same thing here. Uh oh. How can we help? Upgrade. Oh, by starting to do something useful in massive upgrades. Okay, we're basically just playing mech at this point, aren't we? This seems like a terrible plan out of my opponent. No? Command center up. Check my armor. I really need a couple of scans here. He only has three tanks remaining. I think we might be winning this fight then, huh? Too many more ravens now. Kinda of frustrating. This one hell of a game though. Huh? One, two. One, two. Oh. You want to move in there. You can definitely work that out, maybe. No, come on. You can't be serious. How How does this guy manage to, to walk in the literally the moment I on siege? That was such a weird move in as well. I think he's just completely... He's completely out of it, I think. Like, he has no clue what's going on currently. I think that's actually what's happening right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. 
Like, that wasn't an insinuation, by the way, that I think he's hacking. I just thought it was a bad move. Yeah, this guy's definitely not hacking. You also don't need to, to hack with Terran if you're playing mech every game. You have sensor towers and infinite scans usually. Nice one. I freaking hate this stuff. Oh. A returning fire? Really? Is that the, the line we want to go with? Yeah. Oh, there's an entire orbital here, I guess. There's a win. I thought I would have more uh, more ground units here, to be quite honest. He did manage to clean this, but... Feels like I'm uh, slowly but surely winning. Come, shoot at this. I feel like we're doing an okay job here now. I have a bunch of random units in the far back. Definitely this is good. Is he coming with a flank or is this just his idea of a counter attack? Both are valid, of course. Wait, he actually managed to break through? Freaking Thors are impossibly powerful. Let me tell you that much. So he's still moving forward. Okay. I'm just gonna set up here now. Exciting still, huh? Well, I'm not sure if it's exciting, but it does feel a bit exciting. Good lord. Freaking Thor is just walking tank fire like it doesn't exist. I'm not saying that Thor is in, but I'm just saying he's a little bit stronger than perhaps it needs to be. In the TVT matchup specifically.
Oof. What were your tank upgrades compared to his? I think I was on... I might have started plus three, but I for sure was on plus two. And I had good vehicle plating. The thing with mech is, is that it's really difficult to get good upgrades and get a lot of units as well. Hello from Tasmania. Great game, Cap. Do you know... That's really cool. Tasmania. Named after a Dutch man, isn't it? Abel Tasman. A Dutch seafarer. Who died at the age of 55. He started his career as a merchant seaman and became a skilled navigator. Interesting. Thoughts on iguanas? I don't know what those are. I'll Google them. <laughs> they look really cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> These dudes are massive. Large lizards. They look pretty chill. I like the iguana. High tier animal. Dude, there are famous artists named De Koning. They are your relatives? No, De Koning means the king. It's a fairly common name in the Netherlands. Still don't know who pa Polly Chumpies is. No. Never heard of him. I googled him just now. He doesn't seem to exist. Can't imagine how how high the level of Harsom's Pros is even a sub race can reach Grandmaster. Well, I practice a decent amount of Terran these days. Oof. I think this is actually Rocky. Archico. Gotcha. But I have a build order right now, which actually cannot lose anymore. In the the the, the Plap Terrans apparently started calling this the Beyond build because Beyond recently played this quite a bunch. Not enough minerals. It's an absolute banger. I'd like to show it to you all. Go ahead. What is queen in Dutch? The queening? It's the koning in. Additional supply depots required. Yeah, it's, it's not, not Bob's enough. build order. It's Beyond's build order. Not it's almost as good as Bob's though. It's fairly not close. <clears throat> Important to pull in gas immediately. What do you think of the comments of recent cast Dark versus Cure? <laughs> I haven't checked it out yet. Are they funny? Do you think the Dutch make the best French fries? No, I. I, I I don't think there's a nationality that makes the best french fries. Often these things vary greatly shop to shop. I think in general we have a culture of making french fries and thus as a country you probably get better at it on average. But the Belgians also do it a lot. Yeah. And Americans, well they have a lot of McDonald's, so I'm not sure if that's the same thing though. There the fry quality is fairly consistent. Not, Not super high, I think. Not enough I wonder who eats the most fries per capita. Not enough it surprise me if it's America. There's so many different fast food restaurants there. And just so many in general. I was always surprised by that. Minerals. We have snack bars, I guess. Can someone Google that? The fries per capita? I wonder if someone tracks that. Like the World Fry Organization or something. I bet there is something like that, isn't it? China eats the most? Really? I haven't thought that. Fries? No shot. Per capita, no way. There's legitimately no way China eats the most fries per capita. Wait, ah, I messed up my build order. This is exactly what I didn't want to do. This is what happens when I look at the chat. You guys completely distracting me here. What? This is terrible for me. I also only built a single Hellion. This entire game, I might as well just leave. 
Hey, this is garbage. Add on complete. Command center upgrade. I had such a good build order as well. This is not the Beyond build. If Beyond saw this, I think he would cry. That's how bad it is. What am I doing? What in the Lord's name? How are you doing, Mr. Harston? Well, actually, no. A stalker? I only built three as well this entire game is. Is he doing GTs or something? 4K? All my buildings in the air. Like they just don't care. Very cool. Should have burrowed more, I guess. Yeah, this is probably the worst thing that could have happened. This is... Uh, I'm not sure why I played this build. This is absolutely garbage. Uh, legitimately terrible. I'm just gonna let it shoot, because I don't know if the phoenixes are nearby or not. But if they are... Probably best to just let it shoot. There's a crap ton of phoenixes, by the way. Holy cow. It's like Chrono Boost phoenixes, like, uh, his life depends on it. Which it probably does to a certain extent, huh? Okay, kept all the phoenixes at home, which was really nice for me. Like, really nice, actually. That was, that was noise, noise. You know what I mean? But now I'm in so much trouble. Uh, he has the next base already. He's on low gas though, so I'm not sure if I necessarily should be expanding already. It feels relatively risky, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna build more marines, I think, for now. At some point, he's gonna attack me. He's an, I'll rot you a little bit. He's, a, he's an aggressive man. He likes, he likes to push across the map. Can blame the guy. He must be scared as well, though, of something. I'm not sure what. There's literally no threat going on on me right now. Additional supply depots required. Uh oh. Not enough. Nice little supply block as well. Could actually go into a uh, to ghost. We're doing literally everything here from two base, but it's just because I'm so darn afraid. I think I'm just dead, honestly. Still have no upgrades. Not enough minerals. Additional supply depots required. Not enough minerals. Add on complete. So you have a. I think somewhere over here? I don't think so. It's a lot of freaking phoenixes though. I don't think he's still gonna come in and try and kill me, no? Feels like that window has now officially passed. We're in the next phase here of gaming. Time for the next phase of gaming. I'm not entirely sure what this phase is going to be though. But I do not, I'm not looking forward to it.
Okay, you have good upgrades. Gonna get concussive shells as well. Okay, these two. How does he keep the towers with these guys? That makes very little sense, huh? Where is he? Oh, he's there. That's a lot of salad, though. On 2 2, I think, before doing anything here. So many mines here. So many mines. I will one of these over here. I feel like it might be useful. What's this upgrade set? It's not terrible upgrades, honestly. Mines hit my friend. Good lord. They did hit. They definitely did hit. Didn't they? I knew he was gonna be here. I just knew it. I could feel it. I was like, this feels like the it felt like there was one of these out, you know? Can he actually just move out across the map right now? I don't think so, right? We have very good upgrades though, we're gonna continue with that as well. This guy's just gonna move around for a bit. We want some more mines as well, probably. I need more marines actually. And we get two of these. Hoppa. And then we're gonna get this fifth base. We're gonna have this as a sixth. I wanna get rid of this cyclone so bad, but it just won't get help me get rid of it. Oh yeah. Oh I can definitely clear this now. Is he getting a... Okay, yeah. He's getting carriers now. Oh, 
Mineral field. I, you know what I also need? I need more med effects, actually. I got two more of these. Am I not? Poor start for us, I think, but his mid game wasn't so good. So we were up in workers. I, I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe my one, my one mine killed a lot of workers. I killed two. Yeah, that isn't enough for what I did, I think. But then he, he was too afraid to attack. I was too afraid to move out, and I think he stayed on low gas for a long time because of that. Yeah, it is a clean win, my friends. Legendary as always. Ooh, 19 points. In the Pocarino. Does Harsom drink beer with a straw? No. I don't really drink beer in general. Oh, it's freaking cold. My hands. <sighs> Have a great day. I need to get to work by 8 a.m. EST. I don't know what time it is right now, EST, but you better hurry up then, buddy. I think. Oi, 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 oi. Let me have a look. Ah, oh, today was the Kung Fu Cup again. Why do I keep missing the Kung Fu Cup? That's such an exciting thing to play. Why does no one remind me of these little midweek tournaments? This started at what? At one? Next week, I'll be streaming this tournament, okay? Arsene isn't old enough to drink beer. I'm old enough at this point that at a legal drinking age, I could have started making whiskey and by now it would be good to drink. Is that true? How long does whiskey take? How long does it take whiskey to age? A minimum of two years. Most brands are aged at least four years. Well, actually that's not as long as I thought. I thought it was going to be like eight years or something <laughs> or 10. It's two years is very little. What do you name your whiskey? Delicious whiskey. Whiskey that is truly delicious. That's what I would call it. Not enough. A very straightforward marketing. Not like all these other whiskey brands, they always need to have like some some sob story, you know, in, in their commercials. Oh, when a man is truly with himself. He drinks whiskey at the edge of a cliff. But mine is just whiskey because it's delicious. You know, my selling point is that my whiskey tastes good as opposed to all other whiskeys that exist. There's a, there, there's a massive gap in the market there. You know, <laughs> we're jumping in that. Like we make a, tasty, a, a whiskey that doesn't take like, taste like crap. This, this is the type of thinking you don't get from these uh, from these business majors, you know? They're just thinking about marketing their terrible tasting whiskey. But have they never considered making a, a good tasting one? I don't think so. Ever tried whiskey with Red Bull? No, I have never tried whiskey with Red Bull. It doesn't sound like a very good time at all. I, I, I don't really like the taste of Red Bull, unless I'm getting sponsored by Red Bull in the future. In that case, I drink it every morning and my teeth are still in prime condition. Pristine condition, even. Unless I'm being sponsored by Monster Gaming, then the Red Bull gave me toothache. But the can of Monster that I consume every day before bed and when waking up, that's the one that keeps me going. See, I'm very flexible when it comes to what I drink. Right now, I, I currently have no drink sponsorship, so I'm just drinking water, but in the future, you know? Okay, the one the one drink sponsorship I don't think I could ever take would be sparkling water. If I would be forced to drink sparkling water the entire time. 
this is a thing in Germany. Sparkling water is huge there. I know it is it's like medium sized in the Netherlands. There's some people that prefer sparkling water over non sparkling, but these people have been hit on the head. You know, there's always a subset of the population that is off. It is just a fact. You know, you can look at any country worldwide and you're going to be looking at 15 to 20 percent of the general population that are complete idiots. These are the people, usually in a country, that drink sparkling water. However, in Germany, it is extremely widespread. I think it's closer to like 60 to 65% of the population prefer sparkling water over flat water. It makes absolute or still water. Is that what you call it? It makes absolutely no sense. Like legitimately no sense. Is it going to be two links? Oh, he injected first. Massive boss. Sparkling water is so good. Here we go. See? It, like I said. 15 to 20 percent so there's going to be a significant number um significant number of people in this chat that will say that they love sparkling water and it will look like they're the majority but they're the they're the they're the loud minority like these are people you know this, this complaining about the, the regular taste of water the loud minority trust me we could make a poll well you know what? we'll make a poll for this after the game I'll show you guys once and for all that sparkling water is a loud minority filled with idiots. These are also the people that picked up smoking because they they smelled a cigarette and they thought it smelled nice. There's no one that does it. Everyone that sm starts smoking, starts smoking because someone else they know is also smoking. You know what's a really easy way to completely get rid of smoking? Like just worldwide? It's just for everyone to stop smoking. Then no one else would start again. And then the problem is solved. This is how you stop the issue of people starting smoking. If no one does it, no one else is going to smoke. Because I think on average... People that smoke are slightly cooler. I don't know why that is, but I have a feeling, especially in high school, which is a prime age to start smoking, right? So the fact that they're slightly cooler in high school has a massive impact for all these people for the rest of their lives. Is, is that how we want to, you know, uh, how we want to uh, uh, design our society? No, we don't. So my suggestion is, Everyone just stops smoking for a little bit, especially in high school, and then no one will start it again. And we've just gotten rid of the smoking problem. Boom. People uh, getting, on average, five years older all of a sudden. Isn't that crazy? Not a single policymaker in the world has suggested this yet. And that's absolutely unbelievable to me. Oh, look at this. Maybe I can clear something here? Ooh, you think about what? Does he actually have links here, or is he just is he just memeing me? Not enough minerals. Okay, come on, show me the links. Show me the links. Where's his links? Yes, oh, he has a crap ton of links. <gasps> Holy crap! Oh, he has so many more links than I thought he did. I don't think he scouted though, did he? Little chief, eh? Doesn't matter. They all just have blind freaking spores these days. Literally every single zerk in the world knows that they need to build blind spores. Is it really an investment? It's really a decision if you do it every single game. With or without scout. It's not a decision. This is the problem with search. There's no decision making anymore. Does he have the... Why is he rallying drones into the main? 
Lambo would flame the ever living crap out of him if he was coaching him. No! Keep them all in one base! I would be smiling. <laughs> this old Lambo. I do what I want. I'm a grown man. Then I lose the game again. <sighs> okay. A couple more of these. I actually need way more depots as well. I got one more here. Um. I think we might just go for a, uh, a massive push, huh? I'm not so sure where, though, yet. Whoa! Shot a pickup coming. Really love what you did there. I love what you did with this place. Wait, I thought I already started that. Guess I haven't. This is a weird game. I feel like I should be winning pretty hard. I felt like my early game wasn't absolutely terrible. And usually I just win the games then. Or should have just stayed on the map. Probably should have just stayed on the map, actually. I'm not sure why I didn't stay on the map. That I'm thinking about all of this. All the information that I'm gathering mentally. Hello, how about we move out? This could have gone a little bit better still. No? I don't look back on that period in my life there. And I'm like, wow. This probably was the best it could have gone. Ever. Like, not even very close to that. To be quite honest. I look back on that period in my life and think to myself, well, that sucked. Why did I do that? That didn't feel good. You know? Hello? Please don't do that. I'm just gonna move out with, with every single unit that I own. And while I'm doing that, I'll get a Ghost Academy as well. Oh, I have two random medevacs here. Got also a high tier play. So we call it Mistake in the world of Starcraft. Okay, Tutu's about to finish up. You know what I wouldn't mind? Freaking scans. Yeah. This too, too, no? I don't actually want to build marines anymore, I think. Insufficient Vespine gas. Yeah, I don't think I do. Oh, you go down here. I'm gonna sacrifice all my marines right about now. I mean, it's not really the end of the world. Yeah, okay, one more of these over here. Up. See that? That actually looks exciting. Think he can fight me here or no? No way, right? Let's get a couple of tanks in there. Did 
This feels so unreal how extremely boring this game is going to be now. I'm sorry for that. I really actually am kind of sorry. Same time, it's almost like I don't really care, right? Can I have a couple of tanks maybe here? What's this guy doing? Does it really matter though? Gotta take this as a sixth base, I think. I feel like I'm still lacking some stuff. For example, the ability to have an army out on the map. What's going on? Oh, these. Feels like this would be good, but I don't actually think it's going to be very good for my opponent. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, hmm. Kill it? Oh, apparently it does. Hmm, interesting. Didn't think he was gonna kill it, honestly. Is this really how you wanna live your life? Sitting behind a bunch of lurkers? Does he not have to fast burrow yet? Yeah, I'm gonna lose this base now. Um, you go over here. I guess I just need to actually clear some of this stuff though. Huh? Just gonna send these into the main. One, two, three. It's going to be an epic late game, which I'll end up losing, by the way. So for the people, uh, you know, want to save some time. I already told you how it's going to end. Oh, these guys can piss off right now. A bunch of marines here again. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care about any of that stuff. Ghost reporting. Command center upgrade complete. Upgrade. Um, probably want more tanks here, isn't that what I said? And now, um, yeah, this is gonna be a very bad fight for you, my friend. Actually, they end up killing some tanks. This went a lot better than I thought it would. And it still went terrible. But it went significantly better, even. I gotta make sure that he doesn't take any of these weird bases on the outside. Like, he can take and my bottom right and this one. Kind of important. I have so many scans, so I just don't really see a way for me to lose this game. By being caught out of out of position, you know. Okay, so he's going into a late game as well. We're just gonna rotate out. I want hellbats. I want mines as well. I think. Should just oh, also get the smart servos maybe. Do you have brutes? Okay, yeah. Um, damn. It quickly changed the hotkeys. Now that we're in a late game. <laughs> have you ever seen a Terran player do this? I don't think so. Oh, just killed my own ghost. So right now, I can uh, I can rapid fire. You know what's beautiful about this map? How much space we actually have. Upgrade complete. 
I actually should really get the uh, cloak, should I? Get me out of uh, deploying. Sounds like a cell back. Come on through. Not enough energy. <laughs> Don't have any doors either yet. Uh, just build some factories over here. Not enough energy. Not enough that seems like a bit of a stretch, no? I'm actually out of. Uh, We got some Thor's. Oh, we have a bunch of these guys now. And a bunch more bases as well. Gonna be send some of these across the map. We need more scans, don't I? Freaking map hack this is. Isn't it, lads? Time to die, you massive freak. Maybe these are good traits for me, I don't give a crap about any of this. This is gonna... Do you really think this is gonna work? There are like 35 tanks there, mate. What? You know that was not very efficient. We only have some tanks here. Actually, fight this guy now. Nice one. Uh. Ah, I want more scans, don't I? Oh, come on, leave me alone, you prick. What is this garbage? What is this garbage? Come on. That obviously it's not gonna work. Then I still not scan scan it up. What is this? I thought I built more of these. He's gonna try and uh, uh, attack me, isn't he? Oh, how about you repair that, you absolute clown? Huh? Not enough. Ah, oh, come on! This is ridiculous now. Uh. No, this is not a this is not a halt, mate.
We need to be somewhat careful. Mineral field depleted. I think I need more starports as well. Oh no, wait, I have a bunch of uh, random medevacs here. I didn't even realize that. I wonder what this actual eco is right now. Kind of interested to know that. Oh, I can't kill this thing. Come on. Oh, these I don't even have uh, have in my control group. That's kind of hilarious. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what we can do now? So we've we've mentally primed him right now, right? This guy's thinking I'm a an army splitter. Cause I'm a splitter. Na 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 So now he has his army split, like some fool. Oh, never mind. Wait, am I the fool still? Jeez. What? I thought I had him there, honestly. I thought it was some nice gacha moment, you know? Aha! I got you now. You think it was quite as well as I thought it would. Yeah, I still have a lot of uh, bases everywhere. Don't get me wrong. Are these real or what is this? Doesn't seem very real to me. Oh, dude, those were. I need to uh, reconstruct a little bit. I thought he wasn't going to be there with his entire army. Otherwise, this would have been the, the cleanest win of my life. I mean, it still is going to be a clean win. I just need to wait a little bit. This is a problem again, Zerk. Zerk can just sit there behind their walls, unlike Terran. Terran always needs to be active on the map, like I've been in this game. There's not a moment where I was doing nothing. You know, you can watch the replay, go back and, and see, wow. Harstam, you are such an active player this game. The Zerg player completely ruined it for you by just sitting there and doing nothing. Uh, I say I hard agree. Uh, I probably just want this base as well at this point though. Should I just send over an orbital? I'll build a command center right over here in case that orbital the orbital doesn't end up working out. You know, it's possible. So now after this uh, disaster, what we can do is just go towards the top left side, the top left side. I shouldn't say top. I'm not an idiot. Well, it's debatable, I guess. Because I'm a picker, I'm a grinner, I'm a lover, and I'm a sin. Yeah, come on! Look how many Thors I have, though. You think, why didn't he mine more from here? I wonder. I mean, I mined more from this base than he mined from that base. I'm okay with this. Yeah, and you a little bit. What are you doing, Chief? I don't actually want to lose any goats here, do I know? Is he really gonna continuously, continuously attack? Ooh. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Why is this guy playing like a massive prick? Ooh. I got a bad desire. Whoa. Base is under attack. This base is gonna be on fire. Not enough 
this off. We're just gonna send this one over now. Not sure if he thought this was some brilliant moment, but I know it wasn't. I think can just go there and win the game. Not enough. Actually, that many scan for me. I wish I had more scans available. I hate it when I have uh, no scans available. Well, I'm gonna clear something. What is this guy doing? Oh, I probably send him in there and then I didn't. I, okay. I know exactly what happened there. Where are you now, Pam? Fired up. Definitely getting fired up over here. Come on, my friend. Okay, my friends. What is the chance I'll lose this game? What are you doing? I think there's definitely a chance. There is a world in which I lose this game, is all I'm gonna say. Oh, yeah. that, that doesn't seem like a very smart play. Isn't he isn't this the last mining base he has right now? I feel like I want to keep these drones alive though, you know what I mean? Feels like they are providing me a favor. Okay, you two go work on this. Oh, I'm on fire. Probably should have gotten these upgrades a little bit quicker. <sighs> My hands are cold as well. I don't actually have a single scan available at this moment. If he attacks into this, I'm not sure if I actually win. I'm winning. I don't think I'm winning at all. A fairly poor fight. I thought in that in that angle that I thought I was gonna be just fine. But I might have been wrong. I need some liberators as well. It'd be frustrating if I lose this game, no? It would actually be fairly frustrating. This step base dies. No? I think we lost the game. What a frustrating loss this was. Not a scan here. Can you, if you hit a burrowed unit? No. Just want to make sure. I completely forgot the mine from this base as well, by the way. Is 
Am I in trouble right now? Yes. Hey, we lost. We must have taken some absolutely atrocious fights. Yeah, we were down in resources lost, which should never happen. I thought if I just uh, go in with a couple of Thors, we'd be fine, because we were ahead very far, right? Hey, this guy was getting outblasted at every opportunity. I guess I want to have some type of... Uh, some type of lips so I can push forward and deal with lurkers and investors because I couldn't really deal with it. he had so many brutes as well 22 I also didn't have any vehicle plating which is kind of bad against the brute links I honestly thought I could just aim with this like if I have a somewhat of a concave the blinding cloud at the, the end of that first fight really owned me then here we go again. I'm even up 30 supply. I didn't realize this one was mining. Oh no, I did. I killed it. It's a weird face. I have such a huge army. Look at this. Here I thought if I have a bit of a concave. And I start with some of these. Where's my helmet though? Right, I'm moving forward into the lurker. They're a little bit behind, which is not bad to deal with the brute links. Then he takes over two Thors. This is where it really goes wrong, I guess. And if, yeah, I think the lurkers win him the game more than anything else. He had no real anti-R either. So Liberators actually would have been sick. Because that probably forces some Corruptors. And allows me to push forward. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Here I, I still had no chance anymore, actually. Interesting. Should have went Viking. I think Liberator would have been better here. So I can, because the, the issue wasn't the air, right? The issue was the fact that the Lurkers were owning... Was owning my ground. Like, the Broodlords are not a problem if my Thors manage to stay alive. And my Thors stay alive if I kill his Lurkers. The issue were the Lurkers for me. Lips would kill him faster. Lips would... Pushback Lurkers. Hey, Harstam, have you ever fastest? Fasted? Yeah, I'm very fast. What's the longest you've managed without food? I once fasted for three days. That's the longest I've fasted. Or 72 hours, I guess you would say. I remember thinking how pointless this was. It just felt terrible. The investors and vipers weren't the issue. Yeah, I'd eat pink salt. So three times a day you'd eat pink salt and drink a bunch of water, the Himalayan salt. Dogs that fast live like twice as long or something. Yeah, the quality of these three days was so poor, I don't think I would want to live twice as long. It felt awful. Was it for some healthcare thing? Well, no, I was just curious about how easy it was. Hello, Harstam, it is my birthday today. Good job. You survived for another year. Three first days are the worst. I thought the second day was the worst. For me, the second day was the worst. The third day wasn't so bad. But I just felt kind of weak the entire time. And I like eating food. I did enjoy food a little bit more for a short period afterwards. Because water tastes like nothing. I know you can also uh, fast on just black coffee, if I recall correctly. <sighs> 
Are streaming tomorrow? Yeah, maybe. I don't know yet. Probably. Light training and healthy, low-calorie diet is the way to live long. Yeah. I like eating a lot, though. Yesterday, I ate sweet potatoes with cinnamon and some other stuff on them. It makes them even sweeter. Because sweet potatoes by themselves are just a little bit sweet. But Irene has some way of making them real, real sweet, real nice. Puts them in the oven for three hours, 20 minutes, and boom, delicious. So despite me yesterday being full already, I ate another entire batch of those. I will not live very long, but it's okay as long as I can do those types of things. Is this now longevity channel? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, the sparkling water pool. Oh, thank you, by the way, SGD, longtime lurker, sending some love. <laughs> Very nice. After I lose to the lurker. That is a good joke. How did I do the poll again? Start a poll. Sparkling water is better than regular water. Ask your community. We'll run it for a minute or so. Or until I forget. Have you already watched the GSL replays? After this game, we'll watch the GSL replays. Okay? How's that sound? A bob. Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Did you go and leave you all alone? I have a bad design. Answer is an obvious no, no need for pole. That's what I'm thinking. Do you sometimes enjoy sparkling water over regular water? Should be the pole. No, that shouldn't be the pole. German people exclusively enjoy sparkling water. Because otherwise there's going to be people that once drank sparkling water and liked it in that moment. For example, when I have a stomach ache, I prefer sparkling water over flat water. You know, because it allows you to burp, which is quite nice if you have a stomach ache. However, you just drink it really fast. Like you just chug it. And then sometimes you get the hiccups and sometimes you just have to burp. Anyway, it's good. Or like if you eat very fatty food, maybe there's some people that like it there. You know, I can I can kind of see that. But as a general, general rule, enjoying sparkling water over regular water, I think is uh, off. I'm Dutch and German and love both. Yeah. Absolutely uh, nothing to do with it here, nationality. Should have nothing to do with it. Like I said, significant subset of each population is going to be idiotic. So I'm expecting about 25% uh, in the poll here, 25%. If it's lower than 25%, then I feel like we have a and you know an IQ that's higher than average here it would surprise me I'm honestly expect yeah if we were a, comp a, a fair representation of the of the population we'd get 20 25 percent anything higher than that I'd be kind of disappointing you guys I'm gonna be real I'm gonna be real okay, this guy's gonna build a default People that do this actually should be banned. This guy definitely likes sparkling water. <laughs> that was hilarious. He thinks it's a trick question. Good luck, by the way. Uh. I think I'm too late with this one. I, I forgot how the build works. Frustrating. Oh, he's very busy, isn't he? Busy little bee here. I actually got the first shot off.
enough energy. That felt good. I think that was good for me. Pfft, aggressive game here by Harstum, Kevin DeConing. Fantastic stuff. Terrible. See if he has a tank yet. Ah, he has a tank. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. SCV ready. Show me who you want. Go, go, go. SCV ready. Gangway coming through. Additional supply depots required. This is not great. This was actually fairly bad, you could say, I think. Yeah, this really actually did suck, didn't it? A little bit too aggressive. I think I should jump in with the Reapers and then perhaps decide afterwards where to go to with the Medivax. Because very often I just boost him with the Medivax and he has dudes ready. Like this guy had a tank in, I mean, he scanned as well. I don't think I'm allowed to do what I just did if he scans, am I? Don't think I am. Now, the next move I always make, or usually make. Command center upgrade. I'll go for a, a little bit of a push over here and then a drop in towards the natural. But perhaps, perhaps this is also not quite a, a necessity. Oh. And as I say it, um, they're losing all my units for free. Very nice, Kevin. They do need more tanks. Yeah, this has not been the world's most uh, most brilliant game so far. I'll admit that immediately. Actually, I want to repair this one, I think. You go lift off. Piss okay. off into the distance. <laughs> this guy's being repaired, which feels very nice. We're going into a mid game scenario right now. Just get plus one on uh, vehicle weapons as well. Just move on the map a little bit. Another thing I probably want to do here is. What's going on? Oops. So we now have complete, well, complete map control might be a bit harsh, but we have fairly decent control of the map. Wait, I built a barracks? No, that was supposed to be a factory. This entire game is so frustrating, you know that? Sometimes you play for days and, you know, you, you try to remember the things you're supposed to do and you just can't for some reason. Should probably get a fifth base already. Command 
command center upgrade complete. Not enough energy. Ha You know what I wish I had right now? A couple extra barracks already. It's the end of the world, I guess, but... I feel like we could have done this better. If I would have had my next factory done already as well, that would have been huge. Probably should have built a random turret here too. Would have actually helped me. Decent chunk. We're gonna go piss off and take a look at what my opponent is doing. Um, I accidentally made a mistake here. Unlike intentional mistakes, which also happen all the time here at this channel. Um, no. Oh. oh, piss off. I was gonna say something smart and uh, witty, but I forgot about it now. I swear I lost literally everything that I own. Life isn't so fun anymore when that happens. I just lost all my workers. Like my worker lead is now officially gone. Players at my level always forget their tanks here. There's always a, a clean pickup that you can do. Um, so I'm just gonna go into uh, Liberators here, because I might as well. We're in not such a great spot right now, I have to admit. If I were to rate my spot from 1 to 10... I'd rate it at a six and a half. I still think I'm winning, but I think we were, we've seen better days, you know? We definitely have seen better days. Why do I have three, three yet? It seems to be a mistake. By me as well. I can't really blame that on anything else. Ooh, exciting. I can definitely clear this though. Oh, nice one. You know, I have lips coming in soon, yeah, I was thinking. I actually think I was gonna let him do that type of stuff. No shot, right? Not quite great. Do you think he can attack into me or no? I'm so sure if he actually can or not. Oh, he definitely can. There we go, my friend. Isn't that exciting as well, though? Does he have 3 3? He doesn't really. I mean, he doesn't at all. I do have 3 3, don't I? I also have plus two on units that matter. Plus two, I should say. He only has plus one on the uh, V4. Let's do it. Seems like a pretty clear win to me. This is just to say that I've officially figured out this matchup now. He still doesn't have a fifth base. 
been on five bases for years, it feels like, no? I feel like we cheated a little bit, though. Really does feel like we cheated. Oh, you don't gas. I feel like slowly but surely I'm starting to figure this matchup out a little bit. Oh, he's taking that pace? Mm, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. The reason why this is so interesting is because there's no way in hell that he can hold this, is there? Actually, that's not so whatever. Actually, it was pretty bad. You know, let's not pretend like I didn't care about that. That hurt me in my soul. At least a little bit. He barely has no... Uh, no way of attacking me here, does he? I have absolutely no, what you call them? No lips remaining here either, which is interesting. Is he gonna try and move in here? No way, right? Nah, no shot. They were practically maxed at this point. we're winning man this is such a tense game freaking hate these games it's way too exciting you know starcraft should never be this exciting uh-oh Kind of sucks, huh? That actually did kind of suck. Oh, that guy is not in the right spot. One more, one more. <sighs> Almost had him. Still think we're winning pretty significantly, but I feel like we could be winning more significantly if we had just microed some things a little bit better. I mean, I'm losing the Viking War, that's for sure. What he's doing right now for him is fairly simple. That's that. 
if he can't defend this, he loses. GG. Oh, well, no GG in his words, but... Oh. Another win in the pocket. Man, I'm playing late game after late game. Maybe I'm struggling with killing people. Maybe I need to work on that. But almost back to 5-5. Five, five. Oh. It's been some freaking games. Sparkling water is better than regular water. 67% said no. 33% said yes. Uh, I'm okay with these numbers. Gonna need sparkling water to take the edge off. I think I should have just played Raven, honestly. My starports were so fast. But then again, lips also seem to work. I just mic microed a little bit incorrectly. Where's one more percent? I don't know where the final percent was, actually. <clears throat> the Texas? <laughs> Probably. What's the problem with going Widow Mine only? What do you mean, what's the problem with going Widow Mine only? Do you need me to show it to you in the unit test map? I can show you in the unit test map if you want. We don't mind only. Okay, play the GSL replays with another good player. Maybe take over Terran armies at f critical moments for training. Um, it tends to not be super useful. It, it's very time intensive to set up these situations. And they're often more, imp more interesting to analyze them than to replay them. Like, replaying can be interesting if you're not sure about something. Like, how to take a certain fight. But most of the time, you kind of know. You just don't do it. <clears throat> okay. Why is Mass Widow Mine not a valid composition? Imagine we have 200... Uh, imagine we have 300 supply of mines. Okay? And imagine there is something like this. Now, we're 200 supply, so upgrades are obviously maxed. Little vehicle plating, nothing else matters anyway. And we want the drilling class. I didn't even get steam here on these marines. No, let's go. I don't actually have vision, so I can't even scan. <laughs> Blue can build a raven, though. Look at this. Floop. There we go. Blue won the battle with 95 units remaining. 194 supply, and that's without detection. Those are the problems with mass mine. Any questions? Okay, any particular match we want to watch first? Maru Nightmare. Uh, oh, sorry. Before we go here, if you haven't watched the GSL yet. And you don't want to be spoiled. Now is a good time to <whistles> piss off. Okay? If you want to watch it another time with your friends on a big TV screen or something. Now is a good time to, to go away. All right. With that in mind, let's get into it. I don't want to watch the final match. I've already seen that. But everything else we can do. Winner's match is what? Maru versus Beyond. Meh. Beyond versus DRG in the lower. Let's start this with Maru Nightmare, right? How do we know you aren't tricking us again with imposters? You can just track, uh, track. You can just check the real games and see if they track the, these games, if they're pretty similar or not. DRG Nightmare was pretty even. It's kind of interesting just having a quick look at the, at the build order, seeing where it went wrong. Mara opens up with double gas. Okay. I haven't. Well, he he sometimes proxies still. It's just not super common. It's always so funny to me. Very often when you talk with Terran players, 
they'll tell you that proxies are so bad and they should never play them. Um, but then whenever there's anything on the line, they always res resort back to proxies. So I open up with proxy barracks here. SCV uh, patrolled a little bit to pretend like his scout wasn't super early. The Nightmare looks at this and thinks, oh, that's fine. Technically, this is a build order loss for Nightmare. No scout proxy is really, really bad. Um, if he cancels and gets a zealot before, it might be okay, but he doesn't know what's kicking off, so he's in trouble. Most likely, he's going to lose this pylon. So the ideal way to usually stop this is by maybe having some pylon on the high ground and then battery here. That way, a, 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 ba a bunker can be built next to the pylon. Now, your stalker is always going to be too late to cancel this. Battery on the high ground. Kind of enjoy it. And his Reaper should get two kills as well. Yeah, I think this... If, if the players are evenly matched, this is game over, in my opinion. Like, um, there's nothing really more Nightmare can do here. Like, he'll need to get a second Stalker as well, which means that his tech is going to be further delayed. He has very low eco because he built the battery and lost three probes. So, yeah, and he's going to lose the pylon still as well. So, yeah, it's going to be 38-38. It's getting a Robo. I think this is an uncommon call, not necessarily a bad one. A lot of the time we see Stargate if the game is somewhat even, but Robo is a nice one, I guess, if you're behind, so you can go for a counter attack. This is a huge scout as well. Here it is. This better be good. Base is under attack. So he scouts Warpgate being chrono boosted. And he sees a second gate. You don't know exactly what it is. It could be blink, but you know there's some aggression coming up. So you're probably going to build a blind bunker. Um, well, versus Stargate, for example, you don't need a bunker at all. Is this Nexus actually going to die? That'd be the saddest thing in the world, honest to God. Oh, he's got a Cyclone and everything. Yeah. So stupid. Should have built a bunker faster, I think. Oh, he's gonna go high ground bunker. Viking. Yeah, he can just stay one base at this point. He's gonna warp in two more stalkers and then lose the game anyway, isn't he? Raven tank. He's afraid of DT, he's afraid of everything. So this game's completely over. The moment you see a Terran even at this phase in the game with SCVs, you know that the game has ended a while ago. Is the resolution bad for anyone else? It shouldn't be. Resolution should be perfect for you, my friend. Don't know how Beyond does so well without scouting. I know it's Maru and Nightmare playing at the moment. No, Beyond doesn't scout most games. That's a lie. Come on. Why did Nightmare warp in sentries rather than stalkers? Beats me. I mean, he's dead. Like, could be warping in adepts and suiciding them into his own probes. Like, it doesn't matter. This game is over. I guess his plan here is, is to... I don't actually know what his plan here is. Like, I don't see a, pl a viable plan. One thing that I've seen him do and Hero also does it, is when they're really far behind, they'll go for a storm drop to kill... SCVs and then they try to defend their natural ramp. I think this is probably the highest percentage chance you can have of winning where if you kill 16 workers and your opponent has a late third base or plays five racks like Maru is, if you kill 15, 20 workers and you hold your ramp it might actually be possible, especially if your opponent has a massive marine army because then eventually with your own defensive storms maybe you can even hold. So I think that is the one scenario which you're hoping for as Nightmare but it seems unlikely that that scenario is going to be be done. When speeding up the replay, the quality decreases due to the limited bit rate. Huh. It's weird because I have a bit rate of 13,000, so it shouldn't happen now. I thought that was a good bit rate. I could boot it up if you want to, but not this stream anymore, so I need to quit it. I mean, this is the best chance I guess Nightmare had, but as you see, there's absolutely no point. I, I genuinely also think that Maru should have played triple CC behind this, 
playing five racks in this case i think is actually quite dumb but this is this is just what maru does like if he can finish the game fast he's going to put on more pressure i think it's probably the incorrect call though it puts him way more all in than he probably needs to be and leaves like some vulnerabilities like his three racks push should always kill his opponent's third base and the only way he can lose is due to some counter attack so putting himself more all in is just uh increasing the risk of him dying i think but he doesn't care because he knows he's so far ahead like like the chance of losing in this game might have increased from 0.1 percent to 0.3 percent with that move like it's it's really fairly unlikely yeah a very clean game by maru nice i like clean games like this good ex good build order nice execution as well nothing wrong with it why does Maru drop auto turns instead of anti-armor missile? I don't know. He's so far ahead. What do you think? Also against smaller army supplies. Um, or if you have a lot of tanks, it's, soft, it's often nice to get some turrets in. Because they block off a path to your, to your units. And they might interfere with the charge as well. The charge of the salad. What do you think about the idea of Blizzard doing another StarCraft 2 expansion, but this time make it a subscription model? That way Blizzard will have a big incentive to support the pro scene. Um, what do I think about it? I think it's very cool. How likely do I think this is going to happen? I think about 0.1%. So, um, although I, you know, I appreciate the thought. I, I think it's a, it, it is unrealistic. I think we need to kind of you know say goodbye to blizzard making another rts in the short term i think maybe the microsoft takeover will do something huge there's some some activist microsofters that love rts that go in and say hey we want to make a new starcraft but i think from a business perspective it also makes more sense to release starcraft 3 than another expansion on starcraft 2 now Another expansion on StarCraft 2 will get some people back, but StarCraft 3 would get a lot of people back. I guess it would be also a lot more time investment. The Microsoft takeover got blocked by the UK today? Really? <laughs> StarCraft 3 was just announced. Really? Have you seen that Blizzard just officially handed over Warcraft 3 to another company? No, I haven't seen that. Oh wait, I haven't been paying attention to this game! Guys, what is this garbage? Sorry. I haven't actually seen these yet. Oh, this is this is one of my favorite build orders of all time, I think. So this is... This is a barracks. A barracks proxy. Into an eBay block forcing the base to be built somewhere else oh this is freaking ace absolutely ace can only work if your opponent builds a zealot or you have to be super close like over here then your SEV travel time isn't so long yeah if he doesn't blind zealot he gets well it's not a blind zealot right he scouts his so maru probably knows that nightmare nice nightmare's response is to get a zealot the moment he sees two gas and Maru just gets an eBay block and then throws his bunker over here. <laughs> it's a very cool move. Actually, a very cool move. Super cool. Richtig geil. Hop. If you don't lose the SEV here, life is tight. Ooh. Okay. Six. This should finish at maybe 22, 23. This one requires 12 more seconds. Zealot will die before the stalker arrives. Walking time, maybe five, six extra seconds. 
So you probably still have a solid 20 seconds with this one Reaper against the Zealot. And then you need another 12 seconds to build the bunker. It's gonna be kind of tight. I actually think Maru made the correct call. Right? This Stalker started too late. So in this case, he might not have made the correct call. But I think in general, it would have been the correct call. Unless he believes that he could have sneaked in. Yeah, I think this is the correct call. Nice. If he can get another worker kill here, that would be extremely cool. Misclicked once there. Had to go a little bit deeper as a result. And now that, that probe survived because of that one misclick. Could have gotten three, now only got two. Second Reaper on the way. CC will be built on the high ground or not at all? Is he just going to go for a one base all in here or what? No, high ground CC. You pretty much have to at this point, I think, because you can't secure this area yet. Or can you with Reaper Reaper Hellion? Maybe you can. You good micro though, huh? Oh, look at this. Nightmare's getting out of play here real hard. <laughs> one Hellion for Stalker is a nice deal. That is a very nice deal. And now, okay, he actually could have held his natural. I don't mind that he didn't, though. I think it's a good call not to do it there. Just safety above anything. And now transferring workers is kind of scary. You don't have a Stargate, so you don't really have control of this area generally. Oh, and you lose a worker for free. And you can piss off. So this game is... Hmm... This one finishes, we get Orbital Command building still. That's well, Orbital Command 2 SEVs. Yeah, 2 SEVs. So it's going to be like 37 to 32 maybe? I think this is a, this is a fine spot here for uh, Maru. Not as great as I thought it would be. I thought this would be better, but he's definitely ahead. Like he has so much scouting, he has some nice counter attack. He has relatively quick tech as well. Fast eBay. Ah, his infrastructure is really good actually already. And there's no third base that has started yet. And as a Protoss in this situation, you want to get 5-6 workers at least. The freaking mind drop annoying you. Or 5-6 stalkers at least. Nah, okay, now Maru is actually in a pretty decent spot. Because <sighs> there's two tanks already. You can't actually go for 4 gate blink either. Or 3-gate blink, or 7-gate blink, or 10-gate blink. <laughs> Maru actually escaped. Didn't get spotted at all. So cool. Raven's out here. And this Dark Shrine about to Legitimately a good call, I think. This Dark Shrine. So, well, I actually think the order of of operations here was incorrect. He didn't pay attention in uh, in mathematics class. Because I believe that you should have the robotics facility before the Dark Shrine. Because in order for these DTs to be successful, they need to be hitting two bases at the same time. And thus you need a really quick prism. Without a quick prism, this is uh, ridiculous, I think. It's a, it's a bad move. You need to be capable of hitting as your opponent moves out. So if the prism is here, then maybe your Dark Shrine is delayed by 10, 15 seconds, or 10 seconds or so. But that should be no problem. Like right now, you're limited by prism time, which isn't even starting. And your opponent's already moving out. So now DTs are useless. Like defensively, they don't do anything anymore. Maru gets a, a Raven every single game. Yeah, okay, you get one Archon. Congratulations, you've just lost the game. And completely over. <laughs> Freaking interference makes so powerful, man. That's a non okay spell. I wonder if we can figure out who put interference matrix in the game. Just can flame him a little bit. A couple of years after the fact. Probably left Blizzard years ago. This is a really nice fight for Nightmare. Did he just lose the prison with two tanks in it as well? Honestly, this should have been game over. No? Has combat shield plus one versus zero, zero. Seven zealots and six stalkers. That's it. 
this was a really good move by Nightmare. Picking off these reinforcements. Because I think this annoyed Maru so much that he unseached. This unseached was proper bad. Because if this unseage is not here, honestly, there's not a whole, not that many units, right? This Archon is useless because of the interference. Like, it's gonna get another interference off. That's nice. Whoop. Oh, is this guy from the... Look at this hero. Okay, quick question for the chat, my friends. If a Stalker kills a Medivac with two tanks in it, will it count as one kill or as three kill? So is this kill counter in the bottom right going to be uh, five after this or is it going to be three? Quick answers. One, one, three, one, one, three, one, one, three, one kill, one kill, one kill. Oof, it's gonna be three kills. So it counts as one kill, three kills total. So people that said three are technically also correct. Everyone was correct. We're all winners here. Yeah, that was a poor fight out of Maru. He got uh, two triggered and unseached his tanks. Situation analysis right now. No third CC yet? If Nightmare sits back and does nothing, he does he have a prism yet? No, no prism. He gets a prism and goes into Colossi here. I think we might actually have a playable game. They need a prism. It's uh, absolutely vital. I love the DTs that are being warped in. Huge fan of that. Can uh, can counterattack with that. But prism once again absolutely vital. Nice move out with the stalkers. I really think Nightmare is quite good. When, whenever I watch him play, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. It's a huge army, though. So much sustain as well on the Metavex. Why isn't he warping in at all? Do you have turret? Hmm. Decent pullbacks? He survives again, and this DT actually dealing damage. Nightmare is playing a nice game. Very nice game. Losing those two tanks was huge. I think right now, it's probably better to go anti-armor missile than to go for another interference matrix. I think. Do you want to move the mines up or leave them there? I'm not even sure. Okay, now it's too late for anti-armor. One. Oh, second shot was useless. Two more mines coming in. If you never clear the mines and you're not transitioning quick enough, you can just lose against this eventually. Like if the mine count gets too high, every time you walk in, you lose four or five zealots. It's really bad for you. It's going to be a nice hit up top. Honestly, if there was a prism here, I would freaking love the situation. Well, I wouldn't love it, but... I'd say this is very playable because you don't have to direct rally anymore. Okay, this was a pretty garbage fight. It was like six, seven zealots for free. And it wasn't necessary anymore. His opponent needed to attack into him because he finally had the Colossus. Max Pax would have had a, a run by setup during all this with like three, four zealots. Bam, hitting this, hitting this. 100%. Now ghosts are coming in. And soon two interference matrix is available. It would be so sad if he loses because Colossi get interference matrix. Look at this. It's gonna it's gonna happen, isn't it? Oof, hit it, mate. Oh, one just died for free? Look at all these mines. Holy crap. Maru's control is actually completely insane. And he has one more interference. So he's gonna throw it again. Floop! Floop! Hello? Floop! 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 Yeah. He dies instead. I guess it doesn't matter. Game's over. Huh. What a game of StarCraft, huh? This fight was so good. Like, honest to God. I want to watch this one more time. This fight. Look at this. How in the world does he control this? Like, the part before the Interference Matrix is what impresses me. Because I don't think there's many Terrans. 
there's there's some turns at the top that would definitely win this but i think this isn't super easy okay this one emp this technically good control at uh, one too many shots maybe ah now he moves to the bottom he snipes this one all those marines in the back never getting hit by colossi yet still damaging another stim and now it's over magical isn't it it's not miss micro the way nightmare for sure <laughs> he's very nice control kid is crazy actually crazy cheeky drg versus nightmare I'm not watching uh, the final match, okay? I'll already tell you if this is what you're interested in. So you guys have a uh, 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 You have a choice. We can do a quick poll, actually. Add an option. So we have... Pion versus DRG Series 1. We have Maru versus Beyond. Nightmare versus DRG. That's your community. Yeah, losing the first Colossus seemed unnecessary. Yeah, for sure. I think that control is incorrect. Yeah, losing the Zealots also is bad. I just always feel like that Maru kind of forces these things. <coughs> How does Nightmare hold there then? So, I think if there's this many mines, you don't want to attack into the position, especially if you have Colossi. So you just, you just hold back until he moves forward, right? I think you want to send a Zealot run by towards the third at this point, given the fact that he didn't have a prism. And I actually think it would be wise to add in, as a third unit, to add one Disruptor. So Colossus, Colossus, Disruptor, I think is the correct play there. Because you need just to, to clear mines from a distance. And then that push eventually stops, hopefully. You're still not in a great spot because Terran most likely has a faster fort than you and can probably also go into quicker upgrades, like double eBay armory, that type of stuff. I mean, he's already invested in Ghost, so he doesn't need to, to spend the gas there anymore. So I still think Nightmare is probably not necessarily in a great spot, but his supply is very high. Okay, we have Maru versus Bion as the winner. I almost wonder why Toss pull everything back and just lose like... Isn't it better for them to fight and delay the army so your other units get away? I think it can be pretty tricky to figure out which units are going to die necessarily. So... And in the kiting process of chasing your army... Um, the Terran army loses a little bit of speed as well. So, I don't know. Maybe that's a reason. Where are you at? Maro versus Bion. We'll see you build uh, on Grassfan. That is very... Uh, that might be well known with you guys already. TVT captain, really? The people have decided. <laughs> Go Kev, thank you Kevin. Uh, I like I like the the same name. The people are shaved apes. Show <laughs> your TVT nerd. We we'll go through it fast, don't worry. TVT series never tend to last very long. Scout by Maru, no scout by Beyond. CC and double Reaper Hellion into mine. Very safe build out of Maru to start with, right? The only thing that was unsafe was the fact that he played Reaper Reactor, but he could do that because he SCV scouted. If you don't SCV scout and you play Reaper into Reactor, you die against uh, Turex Proxy. 
Or at least you're going to have a really difficult time. And actually, you're going to die. So yeah, keep that in mind. Beyond 5 Reaper, 2 Hellion here. But attacks with just 2 Hellion, 3 Reaper. Got a big hit off there on that uh, car. Definitely a good start. Both players also have a Cyclone. And now Reaper t uh, 4 and 5 come in for Beyond. So he has like a... Well, an almost non-existent window here. Where... Yeah, no, the Cyclone is always out, honestly. There's there's no window, I think. But he does he does have map control because he built the two extra Reapers, right? Look at this. Perfect timing. Jumps in. Loses three units and pisses off. Nice. Or two units. It's a bad trade initially. That's also good. Had him being sent out. Beyond. It's just he's running around he's, he's dodging dodging and scooting look at this maru actually thought beyond was going to play it safe and beyond called this this is such a nice read this is actually such a nice moment i think look at this just just look have another look at this one okay i always like looking at situations from first person perspective so you can really see the you know the deceit in, in action so I think 90% of the Terran players here just go back home, right? They get spotted. They're like, oh, whatever. So Maru cuts him off. And here's like, hey, hey. I think here he realizes what's about to kill. He's like looking first, like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Poof, they come in from. This is a huge move. Absolutely huge move. Because these units lose all of their value from this point on out, right? Like having four Reapers does almost nothing anymore. So... Beyond says, well, do I actually rather want to keep that or do I want to deal some damage with it? And boy, does he deal some damage with it. Four worker kills for free. Five. Could get six if he wants to. Poof. Could go up to seven. Kills a cheeky little Reaper here of his opponent as well. Denied quite a bit of mining time as well, just with grenades and forcing a pull up. Eight worker kills. Absolutely game, game changing move. And then this is. This is a weird situation for Maru. He probably wants to try and move out with something. So he goes across the map with the eight Marines. And what happens at the same time? Our good friend Bian goes in. Hop. Complete destruction. Takes out a Cyclone. Forces Turret. And pulls away workers again. Where's our defensive cyclone? Not in position. That's actually bad. I think at this point the game should be over. Like, uh... Oh. If you think of, like, the assets that each player has and, uh... Third CC done on location. Third CC done in main base with orbital. Two tanks versus three tanks. Stim. Done already for Beyond. And Medifacts are out. There's no Vikings. Ravens are relatively low on energy compared to what the I they ideally would be. Production is three racks already, or yeah, three racks already versus two racks that still need to get their reactors. Barracks four and five on the way. One one has started, so upgrade lead will stay with Beyond for the rest of the game, unless he messes up the timing. Freaking nice. Really freaking nice. The one mistake he made is that he kind of forgot the combat shield for a very long time. Otherwise, this push might have actually been killing here. Because there's, what, two tanks in the main base and just one in the natural. If you scan that, you stim in with combat shield marines, you might just be capable of winning. Although, against triple ravens, I'm not sure if you'd really want to try against someone with Myro's control. And Maro does... So Maro usually has two modes in every matchup. The ahead mode and the, I'm completely dead, but I'm going to try to win. The ahead mode, he kills his opponent, as we saw against Nightmare. And the I'm completely dead, but I'll try to win mode is him just sitting back and doing absolutely nothing, but just defending, defending, defending. Good defensive control, uh, building high-value high units. Ravens, tanks, Vikings. In the case of TVP, just a lot of tanks eventually go into Ghost. 
and focus on walling in, in that matchup as well. I mean, TVZ obviously just massing tanks, sitting back, then eventually transitioning into Ghost and hoping that everything will work out. So. Oh, nice little dodge there by Beyond. So the moment you see an interference matrix coming for you, what you can do is you can dodge it by unseaging while it's in the air. So if your animation start before it starts before it hits, um, that then means that the unit can walk away. It can't siege anymore, but it can still walk away. Well, if you get hit by the interference matrix, that's not the case anymore. You can't do anything no more, which is quite bad for you, of course. Two that's in the main as well, which is painful. But yeah, upgrade lead the entire time throughout. Bianca can take a forward base on location because he has complete map control. This is a really nice drop out of Maru. He even kind of scouted here with the Viking to make sure that there was nothing in the way. Just sitting back. He's creating space for himself as well because eventually he needs to move across the map to or to move and uh, you know get something done. Go on tank. So he can take his third base eventually. Otherwise he's just going to fall too far behind. Fourth base is going to get cancelled here I think. I haven't actually watched this game in full yet. I just like skipped through it earlier today. For TC. For TC timing pretty close and Maru only down 30 supply and two upgrades. But he has Raven advantage and he has a tank advantage. So hard for him to die. Also has turrets in most bases. Is a high tier move. So usually I think clearing refineries. I mean, you see it happen often because refineries often are the most exposed, but it isn't super impactful. I think in this particular game, it actually is somewhat impactful. Because for a very long time, Maru was working off of just four refineries which means he doesn't have a gas bank and you need gas for a lot of things like upgrades for your siege tanks upgrades for your marines that type of stuff so here it's a little bit more impactful than it usually would be and there are missiles triple interference and this should be an okay defensive setup i guess at the end i give a crap holy cow maybe he should have given a crap this is this is insane defense sadly there's 60 marines in the main as well I'm surprised he attacked just barely before plus two, though. Yeah, because snipe the armory, that's always nice. Vehicle weapons do matter. And also, plus two armor hadn't started yet for Maru, which he now can't start. Fort base down for Beyond. That was bad. That's another tank. 44 marines for Beyond with superior upgrades, but not all the marines are here. I guess there's a bunch of marines still here. There's one tank down here. This is such a frustrating game if you're Maru because you're defending very well, but you simply can't win. Because you're just a little bit too far behind from the early game. Like these upgrades are going to be so massive. It's going to be a triple upgrade difference. And marines are a massive unit in TVT as well. We have double factory yet for both players? Yeah. Maru can't afford it though, look, he's completely lacking gas this entire game. A triple drop on the main. All these little marine fights go so much better for Vian now. No. Very solid, well not solid outplay, but you know, the, it's difficult to kill people in TVT, especially if they're really good. He did a nice job there. Okay, second game. Remember that old Polish movie where the man with moustache, Volo Diveski, does a lot of saber fighting? Those were the days. I've never seen that. I have seen Zorro, which I think Zorro also has a moustache. And he also does a lot of saber fighting. Or is it fencing? I think they fence, right? How does Zorro fight? Did Zorro use guns? When's the last time you visited America? Last uh, November, I went to Atlanta. Let's speed this uh, early game up a little bit. Beyond scouting around for a proxy Turax Reaper. Both of them playing single gas openers. Interesting. Very unsafe. But with SCV scout, perhaps fine.
but it's like some weird mind drop. Never quite understand these types of builds. Really gets in though. Mines just seem freaking terrible in general, honestly. These are facts. Really quick third base for Maru. He hardly built any Reapers. Just a single Reaper. Super defensive. I guess he could get away with it because he knew his opponent was one uh, one gas expanding as well. This so this so aggressive. I think Beyond was allowed. So I think if you know your opponent has a really fast third CC, most likely they won't get the map control to cancel your third CC. So you're allowed to build to to build it on location. I think. I wonder why he didn't. There must be a reason for it. He's obviously a smart player. Maybe just to mess with me. That would be a very cool thing to do. Oh, he goes for a medevac style here. So, there's often two ways to play. Or well, two ways. There's many ways to play. But if you... We can actually skip back a little bit for this. So, this is a very telling moment in the Terran build order, right? If the starport flies over to the reactor right now and the barracks to the tech lab, we're going to be playing uh, most likely a six Viking opener. However, if the starport, rather than starting Viking production, goes and builds a reactor, then most of the time you go into... Uh, a, well, first of all, you get a higher marine count very rapidly. Uh, and also you can get your barracks quicker because you're not spending money into Vikings. And then you follow it up with Medivex very often. So it's like a bit more of an aggressive style. It's a style that I really enjoy in TVT to play as well. It's much more fun than sitting back and doing nothing with Vikings. So this kind of shows that, like the, that move. I'm not saying that that's necessarily the truth here, but a lot of the time that is that ends up being the case, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, my TVT knowledge isn't, uh, isn't absolutely A tier. It is limited, but it should be good enough. Yes, Medivacs. Nice. Woohoo! Look at this, though. That's pretty sick. Five barracks here. Third CC. We have eBay's yet. Upgrades also a little bit quicker here for Maru. All of that it just becomes is a bit quicker. Like all your extra infrastructure because you're skipping Vikings. Oh, look at this. Do you double interference here? Look at that. Rather than using Vikings defensively to deal with drops, he used a single Raven defensively. That is so cool. I really like that. Oh, matter of fact, that's got taken out though. Also really like that. And what's Beyond playing? Similar style, I guess. Often when two players play the same style, it's Maru who ends up winning. Eh. Yeah, combat shield way quick for him as well. Nice interferences and just walks into the natural. 1-1 oh, one, one versus 0-0, zero, zero. combat shield versus no combat shield. And the combat shield is this fast as well. Because he only played single Raven. Really cool build order. I copied this one from Maru before. It's really nice. It works like a freaking charm, man. He didn't start too too. He didn't build an armory, I guess, or maybe he didn't care for starting. Raven seems like it would be good in any matchup, just because it's a detector. Raven is good, but it always brings a significant downside producing it. So in the TVZ matchup, a Raven is good, but it means you need to stay on a tech lab for longer. So either you need to skip Banshees and then give up safety, or you're giving up your first marine timing. Or you need to build a second starboard, which is extremely expensive and definitely not worth it. So the only bad choices, basically. Is, uh, that, that, that's really what the problem is. It's really difficult for Terran to get Ravens before they have their main infrastructure done. So like five barracks, sometimes even eight barracks. Uh, against Protoss, it doesn't... I mean, it gets used a lot because you can easily build it in the early game without exposing yourself to any major threats. Okay, so this is a 13-14-14 double proxy Reaper. And Beyond plays no scout. Reaper into reactor, maybe? 
I mean, he doesn't even need to. Right? Maru's scouted every single game. Oh, he plays Reaper Reaper, actually. Is he gonna get the scout off or no? Oh, CC got cancelled here by that SCV. Beyond sp spots, no CC. Give it a great work. Thank you, John Knox. And factory finishes, which is nice. You can start there. I wonder what's best here. So, what if you just leave the Reaper here? It can uncontest it should be capable of killing all of these SCVs, right? Given enough time. You have two production facilities. You're no, you know your opponent also has two. So, and Hellions are good. They're very good. So wouldn't the correct call, given perfect play, technically be to keep it here and to kill all these SCVs? Or am I incorrect? However, attention is limited and perhaps it's just too difficult to micro a Reaper against SCVs here while simultaneously defending this reaper threat. Once again, thanks for the five bucks, John. Hmm. Makes you wonder. I don't actually know what's correct here. Just for a marine. Shorter production cycle. Whoa! Got a free hit there on his face. Lamayo. Oh, that was really poor control. Now this reaper comes back. If that Reaper hadn't been lost... That's still bad for Beyond, isn't it? Why is it? It's two Reapers. Car comes out. Oh my god, lose another one for free. You control that a little bit sloppily, I think. I think Beyond just needs to survive and that's a free win. No, not true. So usually I think the factory... I thought the factory was going to be a bit faster. But I guess this is standard. Like worker count is relatively even. So if you kill like six, seven workers here... Then you can ma ma macro out of it just fine. And you're always going to kill some, some workers, right? That's natural. It's only natural. I'm just not sure. I mean, defensively, the Reaper, the first Reaper did nothing. Maybe it's fine to send him back. I, don't know. I think given perfect play, you keep it on the other side. You should outproduce your opponent eventually. You have way more cash in the bank as well. Right? Like, way, you're way richer. You could just build more units. And you have a pure mineral unit in the Hellion that builds pretty fast and freaking destroys Reapers, given enough of them. Like, there's no threat at all. I don't know. Hard to say. This seems completely uninteresting. Two five-minute games. Let's do the elimination match then. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 How sick would it be, actually, if Beyond would have just floated his CC away? He just... And then actually starts flaming his opponent for being a cheesy little prick. Starts going really personal with the insults as well, you know? Like maybe he knows some of Maru's real insecurities and starts going pretty ham there. You no, know? no, you've always been insecure about your, your mouse hand. I think it's ugly. Something like that, you know? It's like... Pfft. It's too much, Pio. Too much! How did you get the GSL replays from their Patreon? Yeah, I subscribe to it. I am now an official supporter of the Korean StarCraft scene. Give me $30 a month. Very cool. Pa 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 pa. Pa 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 pa. Da 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 da. I've been playing a lot of Mario lately. There's this uh, Mario Switch one called Mario Deluxe, which I've been playing with my wife. It's been a blast. 
You know what the beauty of Mario is? Is that every level is like is new, you know? But the mechanics they stay the same. You feel like an idiot whenever you die. But and it feels good when you finish it, you know? It it, it hits all the very basic rewards, you know? It's like the gameplay is, is pretty tricky, but every idiot can do it given they invest enough time. I remember that first Mario when I played it was freaking hard. I also was like eight or something. I freaking love that game. Ridiculous. Go pro in Mario Deluxe? I don't think so. Is there really fast Nexus? How's that possible? It's possible because Gate Cybernetic Score uh, forms a full well on this map. You can do the same thing on Neo Humanity. Fun fact. Not many people know this. Well, actually, a lot of people do know this, but it's cool to see. This is an absolutely terrible engagement for DRG. Just killed an adept and lost eight links. That's what we call bad trade. A very bad trade. Two Oracle, four Twilight. Okay. If he gets four worker kills, he's gonna be happy. If he gets less than that, he's gonna be sad. The movie already came out. Yeah, Irene actually told me about that. She wants to watch it. She said it's number one in the box office for like months now. I usually don't judge what movie I watch by checking the box office ratings. I'm pretty sure that Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 did very well in the box office ratings as well. Yet that wasn't the masterpiece that Paul Blart Mall Cop 1 was. Plus one, blink. One, two, three, four. Eight gate blink. It seemed like a weird one. Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 was amazing. You can't be serious. Paul Blart, Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 was significantly worse than Paul Blart Mall Cop 1. This is a well known fact among the people that call themselves the Blarters. You know, fans of Paul Blart, Mall Cop 1. I mean, it was a, f it was a fine movie and it stayed true to the lore of the first one, but it was significantly worse. I have another Blarters convention soon. It's not that many people usually, 10 or 20, depending on how much we pay them to show up, but you know, people do show up. <clears throat> Blarter for life, baby. I have two tattoos as well of Paul on both of my knees, uh, his face tattooed. I'm thinking of getting his, uh, his vehicle, his wheels tattooed as well on like my, my calf or something like that. The Segway that he drives on, that is. I hate this type of game, it's, it's freaking garbage. This build is garbage, uh, it shouldn't work. So what is the problem with this build, my friends? Well, it can work, but it, uh, yeah. the problem with this build is, is that you can't properly defend your third base. There's no scenario in which this happens, which basically makes this a two base all in. If the Zerg understands this, Zerg can legitimately send 12 links across the map and consistently clear this entire base. Then if Zerg is on four bases or five bases and has enough larva, there's no way they should ever lose in a million years. You can just give up this base because you're not mining from it, defend with pure Queen Ling and be fine. Instead, what DRG does here is he keeps trying to engage the stalkers, which is the worst possible thing you could do because you can't engage the stalkers. Uh, run by is 100% the correct call. You just send 10 links, then eventually you give up this base. If you do it properly, you will win the game. 100%, but attacking off creep into stalker oracle? No. This is incorrect. Simply uh, not the correct call. See? Even if there's a battery here, the only way you could defend this properly is if you have like a battery and then a full wall with all the gateways on the sides. You need like two gateways here, maybe like three over here. 
is not possible. It would be way too easy to scout as well. And also, even then, you'd still need to warp in a crap ton of units. And your natural is still vulnerable as well at the same time. Like, a run by is so sick against this in general. I don't understand why plus two, plus one here is a response. I honestly think it would be better to get in faster than to get the carapace upgrade here. And I think getting in faster is a really bad idea. for Just for clarity. I just don't understand this at all. Like, pure queenling is fine. You can get plus two. That's completely fine. But you need to do the run by man. Also, you can, with with links in the back, you can try and take out this pylon. Because, so, this is one of the reasons why giving up this base is so darn powerful as well. One, like, if you're not meant, like, it, if you're not mentally connected to this base, which is very easy to do if you clear your opponent's probes, um, you can just piss off, take this base immediately, and then the reinforcement takes freaking years for Nightmare to arrive and is really far away from where he wants to fight as well, which means that run buys or like a, a little bit of a flank can take this out. So then the Protoss is forced to leave Stalkers near the pylon at all times or to leave the Oracles there, making his general push way weaker. So there's so many things. This is why this, this, is why this build is garbage. And it only works if you can get this pylon in a position where you can attack two bases at the same time or you can move into this type of area while can while uh at the same time also holding the pylon so you want to have like a pylon here and a gateway here something like then it might be possible because they're well protected and you can easily attack multiple bases you can force your opponent to split up their links you know reinforcements are difficult to manage but this should never be a loss for trg i think um yeah, I think uh, there were many mistakes made. And the main mistake was not running this by. Not interesting. I'm not even sure if DRG actually ended up losing the game now. I think he did though, right? Can I get a confirmation on that? I can just put in the GSL here. GSL season one. Is game one lost? Yeah, game one was won by Nightmare. Do we have a tungsten cube? I have no clue what it is. <clears throat> you should play Metal Gear Solid series. It's like StarCraft, except there's no aliens, minerals, gas, micro, macro, top-down camera, or cannon rushing. Basically the same game, though. Isn't it a shooter? Metal Gear Solid? How about two zealots and a battery at the third? Yeah, will not, will not survive against plus one links. Absolutely no way in hell. Also, you can, with the links, initially what you do is you poke into the natural to force a warp in there as well. Because you have plus one links, you can clear anything. One adapt in the wall, pff, no problem. Force a cheeky little warp in. Is that run by thing true for all three base pushes that go that early? Um... Uh, maybe not if Glaive Adepts are involved? But I, I only know this build that, that does this. Like with the gateway and everything. The, the thing is, is that this isn't a... So like a charge Archon push, the impact is immediately. Stalkers are very good over time because they have the ability to blink back and regain their shields. You know, the fight takes very long with Stalkers. While with, with Zealots and Glaives and, and Archons, you just want to fight immediately and go for it. You have no blink back mechanic really. So it's different. And because your opponent wants to basically win over time, you just take, you just put time pressure on them by killing their third base or by taking out their third base. Like their initial hit also isn't so strong. Like they grow stronger over time. Well, with most timing pushes, the, the, the strongest point of the push is the initial hit, you know, like boom. So it's a timing push, but this isn't really a, a timing push. It's just a basically a never ending stalker assault in which the stalker count keeps growing, your link count, you know, continues to decline, and then eventually stalker count is too big, uh, you're losing surface area, you lose the game. That's it. Okay, interesting move. Twilight Council, no warp gate. So, fake Stargate opener. DRG spotted it as well. Well, he saw the, the late warp gate. So, he probably thinks this is Stargate. That would be the correct read to make here. Goes into a Stalker. Twilight very far back. Robo. 
What's he called? Plays a build like this. Classic. Very nice little build order that Classic has, actually. Really enjoy that. Dark Shrine. Ugh. I freaking hate DT drop. You know what's funny? Or, well, sad? Is that... Oh, wow. Bailing Nest is a really bad start. What? Oh, DRG wants the pain bust? TT's into Glaze. Oh, he scouts it. You can be serious. He literally gets full info. Oh, it was a fake Glaze. But he did see the Dark Shrine. Okay, well, that's great. This is freaking terrible. He's getting DT Blink? This is really terrible. I thought it was just regular terrible at first, but this is garbage. So now he's pretending like he's not playing DT, which I kind of like. And then he gets real blink as well. It's the double blink build. You can't be serious. It's a third base. Can't hold it. Like the ceiling can't hold us. Like the ceiling can hold us when we go back. So now three DTs are out. This is like freaking classic at BlizzCon all over again, no? Why would he walk through the tower vision? That is so risky. So he's gonna blink into a main base, but overseers are out already. Aren't they? I don't think uh, DRG saw that. Oh my god. That is banter. It really is. Great banter. Up. So cleared three drones. And then teleported out. Yeah, this is garbage for him. Holy cow. Forge out as well. For about six gates. Robo bay. Second robo. Koreans really like these build orders. I've seen Hero play this a lot as well. And Classic. They'll, they'll have an early game that will be magnificent. Like, really, really good. Like, kill like... I've seen Hero kill like 35 workers with his first two adepts, you know? He's up like 120 supply. Then he throws on two Robos and a Robo Bay, starts pumping Colossi, and then barely manages to win. And then other Protoss players, they look at that and they go like, yeah, the thing I should copy is the double Robo Colossus. Like, no, the thing you should copy is the double DT. It's like, it's like the insane harassment in the early game. You know, the... The Colossus is the bad part of the build order. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <clears throat> Not a fan of that. Hatch is being blasted. He's just going for a 63 drone attack. King Disruptor, which actually is a good call against what his opponent is doing. But still not good enough. The Zerk is freaking broken. Busted. No super battery available. Oh. Use disruptor hits. Where's the super battery? It's available now. It's not using it though. It's a cool down. Oh, that's the game over. What a stupid game this was. Man, the quality of games today has been very poor. Holy crap. I hope tomorrow brings us better games. Why don't we see fake Stargate more often? Um, because it delays the glaives significantly. Yeah. Classic plays it, but... Uh, well, it, it delays your warp inch significantly, right? So you have like two adapts less with every push. Which is bad. Generally. If you're going for a glaive adapt push. With games of this quality, there's no way this is GSL. GSL generally has very poor quality games. Uh, tends to be because of the preparation format. So people just usually prepare all ins against... Or like some weird mind game. Something that we don't understand. It's really difficult often to get... To even understand the, the GSL games. It's very hard. Because you don't know what... 
you know why they do them because there might be some background info and no one can provide that info except for the players except the players if they're smart will never provide that like they shouldn't give up their entire like oh i did x because of y i thought this and that like they'll, they won't say that in an interview they'll say ah my preparation paid off or i'm glad that i managed to win and i'll show more good games for the fans or something it's like well you don't want to give away too much in an interview like these i generally think that preparation tournaments tend to be really bad to watch uh, like majority of the time because you you're watching something you don't really understand and that can't be explained majority of the time i don't know there's also of course high level games but i think weekend tournaments tend to provide more high level games than gsl does on average that doesn't mean that there's not individual games in uh, in in the gsl that have been you know have not been excellent i think the beyond versus drg game was extremely high tier that we watched on neo humanity yesterday Goed om te horen, Melvin. Thanks. Okay, I actually missed the early game here. Okay, complete hole in his uh, in his vision here. See that? Nothing on the edges. Kind of an odd way to approach uh, Oracle defense, I think. Nightmare seemed somewhat aware of that as well. Now goes in. Wow. I think Nightmare actually prepared very well. Like, he seems to have, like, a lot of little... Like, little tricks, little moves. Like, interesting movements. If you pay attention, close attention to a Zerg's defense, you often can find little holes in there. Zerg's also look at their own defense to look for those holes, but it can be quite hard. Like, there's... Like, maybe this happens every time, you know, at this exact timing, the queen moves over there. Maybe Nightmare just got lucky. We'll never know. You can speculate forever. But I like the move. Quick Evo Chamber, DRG spotted. No third base yet, just blind Evo Chamber. So I think Nightmare probably never really goes for anything super aggressive. Double Oracle. With double Oracle, it's always a little bit ambiguous on whether it's going to be like a some type of charge all in. Uh, or just an actual build. Like so the theory is that if you're playing an all-in, you're most of the time playing two Oracle because your tech is a lot faster. But just because you see two oracles doesn't mean that it's going to be an all-in. You know, you can also just play two oracles into a macro game. Like three oracles, I think a lot of processes prefer because it gives a lot of map control. It gives the ability to defend bases easily, put on pressure on like a fort, on like basically on anything. You just can deal more damage. It feels quite nice. But if you're all inning, it's always going to be two. But that by itself is not enough of a tell. Like you can't see two oracles and no third and be like, oh, okay, that's going to be an all in. Though I do believe that this is most likely once again going to be this terrible blink all in. Legitimately low tier build order. I think I rate this. Oh, it's going to be with a, a robo. I still think this build is terrible. Even if you have, uh, if you have movable reinforcement with a prism. I freaking hate this build so much. Single sentry, no stalker, no fork, no fifth gases. Double expansion. Look at this setup for DRG. This is this is absolutely ace. Look how many units are for, forced to be at home. That's what 12 supply here that can't ever participate and double batteries. Like that's freaking huge. If you have a 35 army supply push and you need to keep this much at home. I really dislike very dedicated blink pushes on low eco. I think they generally do not work out. I think sending every single link here is a, a fabulous call as well. I appreciate that one. Right click batteries? Can you actually fight this? I'm not sure if I would fight this, if I'm looking at this, but maybe it's fine. I don't think this was good. If there's too much, you just piss off. You build a, a line of drones after seeing the extra gases. Rogewarn, I think you should get Infestation Pit here. 
not a, a Hydra and it probably wants to build Lurkers. But I think Infestation Pit for Vipers makes more sense. Ravager Link Bane Viper, really nice against this type of style. I mean, Lurker's also playable for sure. Don't get me wrong. Second Evo. Five pace. Good macro by uh, DRG. I just don't quite understand what Hydras add into a composition here. But maybe I'm incorrect. He's gonna play Hydra Link Bane. I mean, I'm definitely incorrect about, you know, what, what DRG should be doing. But I would have preferred seeing something else. Especially with how much creep he has as well. He could do Ravager Link Bane pushes with Queens to support. Which I think is cheaper and keeps more options open. Might actually be going just into a late game. With like Lurkers. I feel super comfortable against Nightmare. You know what could happen here, actually, which is always sad to me, is that DRG right now, he's like maxed out, right? He's like 80, like 80 workers, he's like tacking into different things, he's like spending money everywhere. He could look at this situation and think to himself, man, my opponent has a garbage army, I think I can just kill him. And he might actually be right. Like he could just look at this army and morph like 20 banelings and walk across the map and win the game. I think it's it's... It's imaginable here. It really is. More banes, Lurker then. There's no real counter to Lurkers either. Oh, five disruptors. I guess that's a decent enough counter to Lurker. I hate this type of comp though, that uh, Nightmare is playing. I feel so uncomfortable with this. No storm, just disruptor. Even pure Baneling kind of owns this, you know? There's nothing they can really deal with, like you need something. He's so deep on creep as well. He's way too deep on creep. Yeah, it makes no sense. His tastes are big, but it's only worth it out. So the way you want to engage this is you'll move forward with all your stalkers and you clear the creep. And then you stand back here with your and you just keep morphing in more Archons. That's it. That's literally all you want to do. Maybe you do a Zealot run by at the same time and you just keep morphing in more Archons. And you clear all creep with just Stalker and an Observer. Never move on creep with Disruptor. Never in a million years. Unless, like, you're fighting against the massive Roach Hydra army, then it might be okay, but... Uh, this is setting yourself up for disaster. So I reckon the game ends here. Like, two Banes connect and kill 35 workers. <laughs> Plus two Banes are mean as well. Actually mean. Actually very mean. Mm. Oh. oh, another fairly mediocre game. What a nightmare. <sighs> nice. All right. I think it's going to be it for me today. We watched some replays, or at least the ones I found interesting. We played some games. We gained some ranks. Uh, now it's time for me to eat. I'm hungry. Thank you all for watching, my dear friends. I forgot to completely start my heart rate on the stream. But my heart rate was calm as always. I'll be back tomorrow, I think, uh, once more. And I'll uh, see all of you then, hopefully. Adieu, my dear friends. Bye-bye. Well, only two hour stream is three and a half hours, you prick. It's almost double of two hours. But well, only two hours.